What's up guys? We are squirrel hunting today. Um, you guys gonna ride along? We're in Northeast Florida on some public land and uh, then we're gonna take it home, cook some up for you. Maybe tacos, maybe stew, maybe fried. I don't know yet, but we'll see. That one's limping a little bit. I like your backpack. Wait, is it a front pack? It's a... Uh, it's a front pack. <laughs> it's my first time uh, using one of these things, but... Uh, it's almost like a baby carrier, but for binoculars. Don't be jealous. I'm styling. You are. Not as cool as my vest, though. I'm gonna hold all the squirrels in it. I actually bought this for turkey hunting but we will see how I like it for the squirrel hunt. Hold on, I wanna show you guys something. This is an old hunter's trick. If you're hunting public land, what you do is you come out and you see them colorful ribbons. Somebody's come through and, and marked this spot. And uh, that way you know it's a good spot and that's where you wanna hunt. What does it say? People mark them like for the gun hunt gun and hunt, the bow hunt and they think that they can hold their spot but the fact of the matter is it's public land and whoever gets here first it's their spot but we are small game hunting and uh, we don't have to worry about uh, the quota hunts this is a non-quota hunt and we are at a wildlife management area in northeast Florida. What's up in the tree? We're not 100 yards from the truck yet. <laughs> First one. Mosquitoes are bad out here. Turn around so I can put it in your pouch. <laughs> Shoot them next time, babe. Don't wait on me. I literally, they were chasing each other. It happened so fast. I need to go up to the truck and get bug spray. I didn't spray my face. I just sprayed my legs. Do you want bug spray? You did. That's a rookie mistake. I sprayed my legs. Let's go get the bug spray. Come on. Gosh. I guess we're getting bug spray. So, uh, how I like to squirrel hunt <laughs> is I'll walk about a hundred yards and then I'll find a good tree and sit down and just be quiet. And usually within 20 minutes, one will show itself. And if he doesn't, I'll walk another 100 yards and sit down again. And I'll just keep repeating that until I got as many squirrels as I want. Like I said, we didn't get 100 yards from the truck and we got our first one. But look at these beautiful oaks. It is super pretty. This is my first time out here, and a lot of people kind of frown on squirrel hunting, but it is a great way to learn a new property where if you're wanting to hunt it for next year and apply for, you know, a deer quota or something, come out and squirrel hunt it the year before, and you can really learn a lot about that property by just walking around and observing. I see his tail, see it? Make a move if you gotta make a move. Oh, he's up, there he is. See him? How do I keep missing him?
good for scouting. Just seen a pile of turkeys right here. Did you hit him? I got him. Dang. <laughs> I could tell he was trying to hang onto the tree and like climb up still. That's why I was like, I think you already shot him. Um, you do? Okay. Squirrel was a work. Swampy. Got him. <laughs> he tried to get away. He did. We got him. You know, I did kill some things today. Like what? Mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, so it's about noon. We're gonna call it a day. Uh, we started pretty early. We saw a lot more squirrels than we killed, but we did end the day with three. Um, we're gonna take these home and cook them up. I'm excited for that, but I wanted to go over the gear we were using today. Um, we had two guns. I had my 22 long rifle. This is a Remington Speedmaster semi-auto. It's nice because it can shoot um, 22 long rifle, 22 short as well, although I never do it. Holds 14 rounds and since it's semi-auto, you can boom, 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 as you guys uh, saw earlier, and pop rounds off pretty quick. We also were shooting a 12 gauge. Now, usually I'd like to shoot like a 20 gauge for squirrels, but I don't own one. I own this one. This is a Remington 870. Uh, both of these guns were my dad's. I like using them. Um, we were shooting two and three quarter, seven and a halfs uh, that worked pretty well. Uh, we did pick up our, sh our shells for all you haters. <laughs> and I picked up some other people's shells today too. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, we got two with the shotgun. It's a lot better with the shotgun in this. In Florida, the leaves don't all drop like up north. So in this heavy cover, when they're running, uh, the shotgun gets it done. We also got it done with the 22, um, which is better for sniping them. Ooh. Squirrel down. Squirrel down. I'll put him back. <laughs> sniping them. Um, but they don't like to sit still for you too much here in Florida. I like to get leaned up against a tree where I can get real steady and uh, go for that headshot. But, you know, I'm also not ashamed to use the shotgun either. It's nice with two people. You got both guns and uh, you can get the runners with the shotgun and the ones that hunker down and hide with the 22. But we'll see you guys at the house. So right now we're going to clean these squirrels, but since YouTube doesn't like it, I'm not going to show you guys. 
Uh, I may make a video on the side to post, um, but they'll demonetize it, I'm pretty sure, if I do. So next thing you're going to see is some clean squirrels. Quit that. All right. So I have cleaned up these squirrels. Um, I took them down. On these ones, I left, some guys call this like the saddle attached to the back legs. And the other one I quartered up just because that was one of the ones I shot with the 22 and it got blowed up a little bit. Um, but we're making tacos, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and season this meat with some of Hunt Chef's taco takedown. Really like this stuff. So we're gonna season them on both sides like so. Do, 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 do. Season both sides well. Then I've got a hot Dutch oven here. And come in with some olive oil. Just coat the bottom of that. And we're gonna brown these off both sides. So should be able to fit all this in there. Nice hot cast iron. Get a little color on these things. What I'm going to make is like a carnita style taco. And sounds like uh, World War II. The, <laughs> the helicopter is flying over my house right now. But squirrel can be a little bit tough. So, what we're going to do is we're going to braise it down first and then pick the meat off for tacos. Check out the new kitchen light. Pretty nice. Yeah. So we're getting some color on those. Go ahead and start flipping everything over. It's going to take just a second. Nice color on those. And go ahead and pull them out. We're not trying to cook them right now. We're just trying to brown them as well as get that nice caramelization on the bottom of the pot. That's where your flavor is going to come from. Yeah, pull these bad boys out. Look at that. And I'm going to go in with just a little bit of uh, rough chopped onion and garlic. And if you look at that, you'll say, hey Ian, there is still some uh, garlic skins on there. It really doesn't matter because we're gonna pull this out later. And we're gonna let that cook for just a minute. Start to get some color on it. Once that's done, we're gonna add a little chicken stock and deglaze the bottom of that pan. Scrape it all around. Get all that good stuff off the bottom there. It smells so good. A little bit more. Clean that up higher. What we're gonna do is add them back in now. All you people that were saying squirrel is gross, look at that. Tell me that's gross. That's good stuff. Good. At this point, I'm gonna add, this is the juice of four limes, fresh squeezed, just like that. And we're gonna cover the top of it just with chicken stock. So I want it just covering the top of all the squirrel. I was about two cups. I'm gonna go ahead 
add some more of this taco takedown mm. for flavor. And when that comes up to a boil, I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna put it in a convection bake oven at 300 degrees till it's tender. You know, that might be an hour, might be three hours. That's why I'm getting it going now so that we'll be able to eat later. <sighs> so we just went and got a Christmas tree. You guys check this out. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's an ugly Christmas tree, but it's ours. Did you say it's ugly? But the squirrels have been in the braise for two hours. Give you guys a look here. I'm gonna check those real quick, see if they're fork tender. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. See how tender that is? So I'm gonna let this cool and then I'm gonna pick the meat for tacos. I just rewatched that clip and it dawned on me you guys did not get a good look at this so i'm gonna make sure you do look at how delicious that looks almost want to eat it right now so i'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick little baja style sauce for tacos um do like 50 percent mayonnaise and 50 percent sour cream right then uh, some taco seasoning. Like I said, we're using the taco takedown from Hunt Chef tonight. Some of that in there. And a squeeze of lime. And that'll uh, definitely kick your tacos up just a little bit. Mix all that together. You could use um, Greek yogurt instead of mayo if you wanted to. I'm gonna do a touch more of this. And that'll be good stuff on our tacos. All right, y'all. This stuff is just like fall off the bone tender here. And Squirrel's got lots of little bones, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, pick through, and just make sure I get all the meat and none of the bones. We'll have this plate done in no time. So we have our pulled squirrel meat. We're gonna go into a hot pan with, that has some butter and oil in it. Traditionally, it would be lard or uh, a pork fat. Um, but I just don't have any tonight, and I'm making do. I'm toasting up some tortillas, and this won't take long. And what I'm trying to do here, it's just going to get some crispy edges on it all. Like so. Like that. So. What we'll do is, mullet, quit. <laughs> Cut it out, dude. A little bit of that Baja sauce mm -hmm. right there. A little bit of that squirrel carnitas, if you will, like so. I like a little bit of white onion on there and a little bit of cilantro for uh little uh i guess street taco mm. that was boom it's not too hot it <laughs> was really hot oh, that was good. but that's the end of this video if you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe we'll see you on the next one i'm gonna sit down and eat